So I was reading YouTube comments on my previous video, you know, receiving feedback and just enjoying what people have to say. A good majority of the YouTube comments were pretty informative and overall just not too bad at all. Until I stumbled across this comment asking me about doing a, a origin video about this website called Kegma.net, originally named Kegma.ga. And I'm not gonna lie guys, I was like, what is a Kegma? So being the gullible dumbass I am, I blindly went on without doing my homework and boy, <laughs> was I in for a huge surprise. What's up everybody, I'm a Marks and today I'm gonna tell you guys what is Kekma and where its purpose comes from. So Kekma is a modern shocking website that is recently new and that has been hosted on the date of April 23rd, 2019. This website was created by a user named Obak Meet God. So when you first enter into the website, man, uh, it looks like a regular old school shocking website that could potentially scare the crap out of you. It gives you a warning sign saying that you must be 18 or older before entering. And when you hit that enter button, man, oh yeah, you're in for a treat. So when you enter the website, the website shows very violent, flashy GIFs of very violent stuff while in the background of the video has actual videos of really nasty and messed up content as well as a freaking screamer playing in the background that just, it's just very loud and annoying. Like I put my volume at six and it's still freaking loud. So in one of the videos, it showcases literally a video of a dog being hung upside down on a tree, literally being skinned alive and man, I love animals and dogs and that is, oh man, that, that's just hard to watch. And the video also showcases a man taking literally a nail and he's screwing his nail into his urethra and oh, oh as a man, man, ouch. Man, I just watching that, like you can kind of watch it and like feel the pain with the dude if you're a guy, it's just, oh. And to make any matters worse, it literally plays all this in full screen mode without even telling you. And man, this guy is kind of a douchebag. And to make things even more crazy, there is actually more content before this. This was just like the updated version of the website. So on March 13th, 2020, the original content it had on the website was literally a video of a man forcing himself onto a burnt infant and he's ejaculating onto it. And oh, it's like... This dude is freaking mean. <laughs> it's like, it makes you wonder like, how does this stuff like not go on the deep wood and how does this get around the internet loopholes and internet laws now these days? It's kind of crazy if you think about it, but man, it's just so crazy and man, I just kind of freaking, oh, stomach turns. The site also featured a video of literally pork tapeworms being removed from a liver and it makes you wonder, it's like, how do people find this content and where do they get it? So guys, how do this insane internet website spread? Well, today I'm about to explain it to you. So the earliest time Kekma was ever featured was from a YouTube comment from a video title called Why They Don't Tell You About Hitler's Shrinking Market's Problem and the user was made by Chronic. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, that took me like 12 times to read that whole video title and I just couldn't stop looking at it, so... Yeah, oh shit, this is embarrassing. During the summer of 2020, the link was posted on multiple Discord servers and channels. Mainly the creator's Discord servers and with his friends. It was also used as a trolling tactic on subreddits on reddit.com on November, uh, December 31st. Uh, people started sharing this as a alternate Reddit version to kind of parody the website and tricking people into clicking on it just to trick people into visiting it just to, you know, get a reaction. It even happened on bigger subreddits like r slash jreg and lefttube. So by the user, the Romanian atheist made a post on a subreddit called r slash adultic and he titled this post called the hottest Reddit alternative. And man, oh man, People fell for it and yeah, they were not happy. But a few people did catch on to the joke and it did become one of the most high upvoted uh, posts and yeah, <laughs> what an evil old turd. For a little bit, it did die down and people probably thought the joke was over, but when the 2020 election came, uh, that joke was on the rise once again and once again, mass users were spam posting the links for, you know, to mess with people. And honestly, during a depressing year like this, I don't blame them. 
The original domain for this website was called Kekma.ga and on July 22nd, 2020, it would actually get removed and actually be revived in a different domain name, Kekma.zyz. I'm sorry guys, XYZ, and the spread would continue just a little bit longer. So around September 11th, 2020, the user would upload a 41 minute video embedded on their website called the Kekma Movie. And in that movie showed a bunch of violent stuff, also some mockery jokes, parodies, and even just dark humor stuff that would mock today's political world. The movie even featured members of the Kekma community and kind of how the jokes started and spread, but it doesn't really just like tell you how, it just kind of shows the community. Yeah, this is kind of like a unknown cult that's on the rise, and most of us don't even know this, and I'm not sure if that's a good thing. And not very long after that, Akbar Meet God would create another website called womensalliance.xyz. And it's a very similar website to Kikma, but it's like another thing to kind of make fun of uh, women's rights and go as far as racism. And I'm not going to get too far into that because I don't want this to get super political and shit. And... Yeah, this is just an informational video. And here's one little interesting piece of information I have found. I went on the Kikma's wiki page and actually the creator does tell and describe why and how he created the website. So in this site, he says, uh, I made this site. Can't believe how much it has spread. I see someone try to archive it with Wayback. It won't do it because of the robots.txt. If it goes down, I'll post a raw with the whole site here. And then some guy replies, what made you decide to create the site and choose the name? And the Kekma guy, or Obak Meat God, says, I've run slash created so shock sites and screamers every year since 2013. None really not, not, none really of note, just a bunch of .swf screamers that abuse the glitch and flash to turn loud Ni Nigra into a cascading howl that sounds like hell. When Flash got disabled by default, I made an HTML5 site called Big Image. It was pretending to be like Imgur. It got maybe two wild views a month. It was just a picture of a fat middle-aged cross-dresser sticked his wee wiener in a plastic waddle while an irraped line from Darkest Dungeon, Ancient Traps Unsprung, Thirsting for Bread played on a loop. Chrome made it so autoplaying elements would not play without being triggered without user interaction, and Firefox followed shortly after. It was very frustrating, it sounds stupid, but it felt to me like that safe and sterile modern social media dominated internet had finally been spread to browsers, while we're now babying people too dumb install a script blocker. I wanted to create a simple site that would last, that didn't rely on scripts or files or that would easily be blocked. User initiation of what appears to be completely big in scripts and videos isn't something that could really be restricted. That's how Kigma.ga was born. It didn't have the full screen trap, the severed wiener swastika cor cursors, or the dialog box delaying closely the site initially. Those were added late last year. The name was suggested by a friend who pointed out that penis parasites would probably go to draw anyone in. But anyone related to MAGA could bring in a lot of people from politically oriented, oriented communities who are likely new to the internet to have seen the heyday of shock sites. And wow, yeah, all that information right here I just told you is pretty much another origin piece of how Kekma.net, the current website, was made. Wow, that was a mouthful. And that, my friends, is the history and origin of this beloved website called Kekma.net. And wow, a lot of cool information, huh? So what are your thoughts about this website? Do you think it's a bit too controversial or violent? Or do you think it's just a funny dark humor meme? Personally for me, I, I think it's kind of funny, but I kind of understand why people get upset. But the only thing that kind of goes a little bit too far is maybe the dog being skinned because that's just kind of gross. And I have, a, I have a soft spot for animals, so that is probably a little too far, but... Other than that, I think it's just for the edge lords and just for people to kind of just mess with them. And yeah, obviously parents would probably would not appreciate it. Anyways, guys, that will conclude for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. It was very fun making this and thank you to the guy who commented about Kekma, dude, and kind of got me curious because, man, this was wonderful content and a very cool piece of history. If you guys like my content, make sure to leave a like or if you like this video, and if you really enjoyed it, uh, make sure to comment and subscribe, and man, let's get this channel to 3,000 subs before the end of the month. 
I doubt we could get that far, but hey, it's worth a shot. Man, even before April at least, come on guys. This crazy growth of my channel has been going pretty well and I have about almost 2.3 uh, yeah, 2.3 subscribers when you're seeing this video. I will be back with some more informational and commentary content for you and I will see you guys next time.